So Kelly Rowland is breaking her silence after everyone has speculated what did she say or what happened at the Cannes Film Festival on the red carpet where it seems as if she got into an argument or issue with the red carpet security and ushers. Well, according to Kelly, she stood her ground. Welcome back to the Kempire Channel, your number one source for pop culture news and music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So as you know, we have been Team Kelly on this one. We don't know what happened. We told you yesterday, based off of what lip readers and what people on social media were piecing together based on our expertise on, in lip reading, it seemed as if Kelly kept on saying to multiple security and ushers on the Cannes Film Festival carpet that don't speak to me like that. Don't talk to me like that. You're not my mother. Don't talk to me like that. Let's just re remind you of this video footage on the Cannes Film Festival red carpet. You can see here at, at the very beginning, we see Kelly already being ushered off the red carpet. She looks like, what, you know, why am, I, why am I being rushed off? But she's moving. She's moving, but she's going to turn around here. She's going to turn around again to, to, to wave. All right. Mind you, we don't even hear what is being said to her right here. But you can see there is multiple ushers surrounding Kelly Rowland as if she's almost like a threat. Is she a threat to them in this moment? See, see here, she's like, don't talk to me that way. Don't talk to me that way. Ooh. And then the condescending smirk on this woman's face. And I believe the, young, the, the woman speaking to the security guard works with, with Kelly. I'm not sure what position she plays or what. Kelly was not happy, though. And we were not happy either. We were not happy either after seeing it. But Kelly, as I said to you before, is now breaking her silence. Before we get into that, yesterday we read to you a tweet from someone else, a black woman that attends the Cannes Film Festival multiple times. And she also pointed out she knows exactly what this is. She's experienced this over the years of attending the Cannes Film Festival for like 30 years. And she says at this point, she's taught these ushers how not to treat her. And she says, you know, we're going to keep showing up living our best black fabulous life, showing up on these red carpets. And Kelly is now confirming that's exactly what happened. Take a look at what she said in a recent interview in regards to what played out on that red carpet. The, the woman knows what happened. I know what happened. And um, I have a boundary. And I stand by those boundaries. And that is it. And there were other women that attended that carpet who did not quite look like me. And they didn't get there, scolded or pushed off or told to get off. And um, I stood my ground. And she felt like she had to stand hers, but I stood my ground. You know what hurts me more about watching this? And for, for someone that has never experienced racism or prejudice, you're probably not understanding what you're seeing. She's getting emotional rehashing what happened to her. And I talked about this when we were, we were recapping the Renaissance film and we were saying no matter how much success you achieve in this world, no matter how much money or fame or celebrity that you achieve, especially if you're a person of color, especially if you're a woman, people will still talk down to you. We were just talking about that in the Renaissance Film Festival, Renaissance Film, the Renaissance Film, where Beyonce was being pretty much talked down to by someone she's employing. And she's like, well, you know, I Googled it. And there is this uh, device or whatever she wanted in that particular moment. And in watching, I was like, this woman is a damn near a billionaire, has, is like the celebrity of all celebrities. But you know what? That doesn't change this world of treating her and reminding her, oh, you're a woman. Oh, you're a black woman. And I know some people want to say racism is over or, you know, why it always have to be about race? We are telling you about an experience. And I see in Kelly's eyes, she probably is thinking that as well. It's like, I've worked so hard in this business. I went from nothing to be walking this red carpet where some people that look like me will never or have never walked before. 
and to experience if you've never experienced racism for the first time it does get you emotional i remember recalling that here on my youtube channel uh the first time i ever experienced being called the n-word and i tell you rehashing that i did not expect in rehashing that story that i would get emotional or teary-eyed because you don't re realize in that moment how you don't feel protected you've achieved so much you have your teams and things like that. And yet still, still in 2024, you experience this level of racism on a red carpet. And then you see people that maybe haven't even achieved or maybe don't even you don't even know who they are. And mind you, it doesn't matter who you are. You, no one should be receive that that level of any prejudice or racism. But I just want to point this out. She's probably seeing people on this red carpet that you don't probably even know being treated better than she was just treated. And again, Kelly Kelly is so gracious because Kelly could have really put this woman on blast. She could tell us everything that she said, but she doesn't. She always takes the high road. And it's so crazy to me that we're reporting on another Kelly Rowland story where people are testing her testing her limits and she's putting a line in the sand and honestly i am here for it because if you do not put your line in the sand if you do not show people your boundaries they will test those boundaries at every corner and i mean that doesn't mean just one particular person if you let someone over here get away with it please trust and believe someone over on the other side is going to test your boundaries Kelly Rowland, we stand with you and every other black person, black woman that has walked that red carpet or has experienced racism in the in the world, but specifically in in this part of France. Because just last year we were talking about Bria Fleming from Summer House Martha's Vineyard talk about her experience with French police while she was in Cannes for the film festival. This has to stop, and hopefully this conversation will continue for the, the folks behind the Cannes Film Festival having conversations with their staff. Because at the end of the day, no, we don't want just Kelly Rowland to feel comfortable and given respect on this red carpet. I want every black woman, black person, every person of color to be treated with the same respect that you treated their white counterparts, period. And Kelly, we stand with you and we're glad that you stood your ground. And I'm glad that the world is reporting on this and standing with you. Guys, as always, I want to know your thoughts on Kelly, Kelly Rowland and what she had to say about what went down in Cannes. Guys, as always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching. Ooh, you bring the